Oh, 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 hello you. How's it going? Um, the game's a bit loud, isn't it? Should we knock that down a little? There we go. Not that much. 50% should do it nicely. Uh, right, hello you. Welcome to Geekism. We're just going to give it a few minutes to make sure everyone's caught up with us. And um, uh, live stream our Tuesdays. <laughs> Hot tubs already, brilliant. Uh, hi, Stokies. Um, live streams are Tuesdays now. They were going to originally be Wednesdays. It's, I, I completely completely forgot that uh, Wednesdays is um, Planet Coaster's live stream, which kind of defeats the object of me streaming Planet Coaster at the same time. So uh, we're now Tuesdays. So I hope that's okay for everyone. I hope it doesn't miss uh, mess too. But I hope it doesn't mess everyone around. Uh, too much, uh, but hi, welcome. I'm just gonna let everyone check out. Somebody tell me that the sounds okay and everything else. I'm gonna um, just have a little wriggle of this because I think you're a little big. I'll just knock you down a bit. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, right, hi, hi, gross, hi, Jonathan, um, hi, Gostigu, hi, Soul Seal Saul. That's fun to say. Uh, Pizza Stokey, it's nice to have lots of regulars here. Uh, as well as some new faces as well. So that sounds good. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, we're going to carry on with uh, what we were building in the last uh, live stream. Oh no, I've clicked resume. We may be going somewhere else. I've got a feeling this opens our main park. Which could be a problem because the load takes about five minutes for that. <laughs> um, music could be a bit louder, but it's really fine. Okay, cool. Uh, hi, John T. Oreo Cam. Oh, speak of the devil. Come on. People want to see you. Oz, 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 come on. Here he is, star of the show. He's come to say hello. Um, the circus tent seems very important. It's not, it's just what we're building. It's all good. Uh, hi, uh, Jacid. DJ Acid, of course. <laughs> Jacid. Um, hi, Razios. Thanks for the sub. Uh, everything is super. There we go. Just time for me to get him ready for work. Oh, sorry, Umbreon. Um, you catch it on there. Catch up later on, I'm sure. Ario's here. Um, Got to go get my cat as well. Oh yeah, we need cats. Cats on stream is good. If you're either watching stream or or, or on stream, you need to uh, you need to have a cat. Here we go. So this is Ario. Ario the Siamese on uh, Twitter. You can follow him there. He posts pictures of himself. He's a very clever cat. Um, he may not hang around though. He's been a little bit unsettled today because he's quite hot and stuffy. Um, yeah, he decided, Carly, yes, he decided to show up from work. He's going to show you his bum. Uh, he may settle down now. He's pottering about today because it's a bit warm um, and he's a bit stuffy. So if he comes back and join us, uh, we'll, we'll bring him back on the screen. But for now, he looks like he's uh, going well. Um, awesome. Love Ario. You're looking well, Johnsy. Just wait for that little one, right? I know. I'm still getting sleep at the moment. That's why I look well. <laughs> Um, if those of you who don't know, um, I, uh, I we have a baby due any day. Uh, the the the, the, uh, the due date is the fourth of August, so pretty much any day now, uh, we may well have a little uh, a little baby geek joining us. So um, we didn't really want to come here. I mean, it looks good, doesn't it? But this isn't where we wanted to be today. <laughs> um, there we go. Hello, awful sniffle kisses from Suki the Burmese. Ah, oh, similar sort of. Uh, Sort of shape and size to them, Burmese and Siamese, aren't they? Similar, very sort of similar breeds. Um, um, also, in City Skylines, do you care about achievements? Because if you don't, you should use the first-person camera mod. Don't care about achievements. We have hundreds of mods in that game already, so that so yeah, achievements are completely out the window. Uh, unfortunately, I might go back and do like a a, a, a completely straight play once, uh, and maybe get some achievements. But no, achievements aren't really the sort of thing I, I strive for. Um, load park. We don't want this park today. We want live stream builds. There we go. Um, okay. There we go. Sorry about that. We're going to look at li live stream again. Um, first baby. Yes, it is, Joe. It's our first one. Yeah. Um, getting everything sorted. I think we're ready. I'm sure there's something we've forgotten. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's something we've forgotten, but we'll see. Christian fireworks. No, not today. My God. You don't want to see fireworks. They take so long to, to do. Honestly, but we're getting there with them. It should be good. Um, my three cats are hiding out upstairs, snuggling uh, my little boy because it's bedtime. Ah, oh, bless. Oh, he's come back now. He's, he's considering uh, thingy hanging around. 
Not convinced, are you, Ars? You're all bothered, aren't you, Mace? Uh, David Geeky's in my lovely theme park. Thank you, David. Thanks for watching. Um, Chocolate Burmese. Does Oreo like the sound of his own voice? Yes, very much. Uh, I think Burmese and Siamese have got that in common. They love meowing. The horrible, long meows that make them sound like they're, you know, being starved to death and things like that. Right, so here's where we got to in the last episode. Then we're working on the circus tent shop. Uh, this, the idea behind these live streams, by the way, if you're new to jo if you're joining us for the first time, um, they are uh, um, that we're making stuff that can go onto the workshop because all the stuff I make in my Let's Build series is very tied together and don't really work very well on their own. Um, so these live streams are all about completely separate builds uh, that don't fit into our, my own park, um, but they can go together and, and work out really well. Tent is looking great. Thank you, sexy, sexy bicycle. You sexy, sexy bicycle. <laughs> um, so yeah, here we got it started. We're going to work a little bit on this front here. And then it's, to be honest with you, after that, it's kind of detailing, really. We kind of, um, you know, the base sort of shape is laid out. Really want to just have a little tweak of this. So we're going to come into first person for a sec. Come down here and get um, these selected. Because I kind of want to tweak this whole little, whoops, little bit up. There we go. And you'll see what I mean when I uh, when I come out again. So we're just going to oosh these up like that and all these as well. You have to bear with just a little second while I do this. In fact, it's probably an easy way to do this. I could should be able to come into here and get all of those without really bothering much else. There we go. Um, and then we can come back in with you and select the, oops, these ones. No, that one. There we go. And here, and here, and here, and here. Oh. I'm going to hope that's all of them. And then we click this. Move. Oh, we've got the shop selected there. Oh, no, we're not quite. We haven't got quite everything selected there. Now we should be able to exit. There we go. I kind of want that just to have a, sl a really slight tear on it. I mean, not much at all, but maybe just enough to hide it into there. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's better. Although it's just pushing a little on that shop there. Oops. I'll take that in a little, push it back a little as well. There we go. Yeah, just, a, I mean, the slightest tear there. That's what we wanted to do. Right, okay. Uh, all right, I'm back with Cat Good. Ah, Cat's gone. <laughs> um, hi, Jesse's World. Welcome. Uh, Henry, I watched the last stream. Well, you know where we're up to then. You know what we're up to today. Uh, you should make a sci-fi place in your park. We will do sci-fi, Dave. It, uh, we're going to work through all the themes eventually and probably some of our own themes. And that park will probably just keep going forever. I don't think it's ever going to finish. Um, you know, we'll just we'll just keep going. Uh, what's going on here, Mario? Why are you being all bothersome? I'm very aware of the cat, I'm afraid, because we've um, come up here and settled down. Uh, with Nicola being very pregnant, um, apparently it, it kind of sends cats a little freaky, especially boy cats. And he's he's been known to sort of spray around a little, unfortunately. So we're trying to keep on top of it and, and you know, be aware of him. Uh, allow me to rant for a second, but Roblox has both the best and worst design. I hate how greedy and scummy the people at Roblox are. I can't stop playing it. Okay, thanks for sharing that with us. <laughs> uh, Uthris parks never end. Uh, in Uthris's case, um, car parks never end. Uh, right, so where are we up to? We need to carry this down a bit. All right, so let's get on to our art shapes. Uh, do you think you will complete your park first or computer will die first? Oh, computer will die, definitely. I mean, it's struggling now. I get about 20 FPS at the moment and we're still not even halfway done. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 most definitely going to uh, gonna be the computer dying first. Okay, so let's, oops, let's bring you out. Didn't particularly need these colours to match, line up. Um, am I related to Jack Sparrow? Yes, I am. Well, I'm not related to him, but I see him quite often. We go to an annual Bad Jokes convention. Uh, let's just mix that there a little. I want to tear you just slightly. There we go. And then bring you down. Just to give it a little bit of a... So it's not just flat, you know. Give that slight tear there. And then down again. There's a little... There we go. Mario. He's running around there. You won't be able to hear him on this mic. It's got pretty good isolation, but he's running around the house screaming his head off. 
Uh, okay, so these need to be a color. Does it save colors? Yes, it doesn't do us, but it doesn't look like we've used them for a while. Okay, so this is the yellow we want. I've actually got them written down in front of me just in case, but we can do this. This is okay. Uh, four pieces, is it? Yeah. We'll select those into the same. Uh, oops. Oh, messed that up, haven't I? Is it you? Yeah. Okay, where'd you get your graphic card for Planet Coaster? No need to share. Us. <laughs> it's. Um, Feel like we need to be making a beta castle. Yeah, this plastic would work for a beta castle. I mean, it does. It's a bit too shiny for this, really. Although it's, it would probably be that similar sort of tarp, shiny tarpaulin material. But you know, art pieces. You know, we have the issues with art pieces. We'd love to see them. Uh, you know, have have textures or or at least like a few just like alpha. Is it alpha channels? Maybe. I don't know. Not alpha. Whatever the channel is, that means you can adjust um, the. Uh, the, oh, you might have heard that one. That was quite loud. Uh, adjust the sort of uh, how light hits it kind of thing, you know. That's kind of what uh, what we could do with. Just so you could get like a bit of a woody type look, you know, a, a bit of a thingy. Tent. Hi, Mark. Uh, tent's coming on relatively well. Uh, just, just getting started on it, really. We've just got here. We've got a little bit more structure to do. And then we're going to start on some detailing. So the red is E40F0F. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll copy you again. But, uh, we've got a bit of an issue here. Why is... Ah, because we teared it, didn't we? Like a bunch of idiots. I'm blaming you lot for that as well. <laughs> uh, Shouty Cat, yeah. Alpha is transparency. Yeah, not transparency. The one that sort of affects... Uh, uh, you know, uh, textures would be game changing. They would, and I think I kind of got a feeling that they're kind of testing the water with the billboards, you know? And I, I, I can see a... I can see a Full on uh, textures onto walls and everything in the future. Yeah, uh, blue is one eight three C six D. Is that right? Yeah, that looks pretty good as well. Okay, so this one, not too sure what we're gonna have to do with that one. It's kind of just that one that he's lowering, doesn't it? Oh, I tell you what, we'll do. Let's copy this all over. It's really hard for me to see that yellow, whether it's selected or not. That one isn't, is it? Yeah, there we go. Let's copy all this over. And then select this with it. And then we should be able to just do, oops, just do that enough that we can knock it down and it not be an issue. Where are you, Oreo? Just give me one second, guys. I'm going to go in there, just check on the cat. I know it's really a bother, but it's I don't want him pissing, basically. <laughs> I'll be back in just one sec. Hi, sorry about that. Um, pussy piss. Yeah, we don't want pussy piss, do we, basically? Um, music's really quiet in this. Let's... Uh, oh, I've just escaped that. Never mind. I'll fix it in a minute. Settings. Audio. Ah, mute game soundtrack. That, that'll that have been done while I was testing fireworks, I think. Um, Jonathan, learn how to spell. Um, we, oh, here you go. That's okay. When did you start playing this game? And when did you hear about this game? Um, I started playing um, just. It was. It was. It was. Um, I heard about it when it was in alpha, but I was too late to to get onto the alpha. So uh, I bought it straight away, but by that time I'd missed the. I think they called it Coaster Head Club or something like that. Uh, which was like the uh, your basic early access. I, I hadn't heard of it. I fell onto a video about it. I can't even remember what it was. I think I was looking at a Parkitect video, and um, 
and a, and, a, and a thing he came up recommended. It was most likely a Silverette video, I'd ima- I would imagine, because um, he played Parkset for a little while as well. So um, probably something like that. But then, yeah, so I missed the uh, missed the opening of it. And um, but I got onto the, uh, the the Alpha Weekend that they did, uh, which was cool. I built a really awful ride. Which was uh, which was fun, and then let's have a look at that. That looks okay. The fact that the colours are are we fussed at the colours are the wrong way around? I think we're going to be fussed at the colours are the wrong way around, aren't they? Uh, Life with cats, yeah, it's not all easy. Um, so happy to have hi Nicole, welcome back. Yeah, thanks for joining us. You were here last week. Um, yeah, I think these colours need to be the other way around. It's, it's going to bother me that they're not. I think. Um, Marble and Fireworks show would be nice with a tent. <laughs> Mark, I'm just so done with fireworks, mate. Honestly, they're I mean, they're great. They look fan. They look fantastic, but I, I'm having so much. Why on earth do you want to do that? I'm having so much grief with them. It's ridiculous. Uh, World axis isn't much better. Great. Should have built this better. Never mind. Um, let's just do this. We need to move. It's it's yellow then red, isn't it? Just figure these out. Drop blue out of the way a minute. Put red in its place. Um, oh man, it's warm tonight. I'm not happy with these uh, this weather. Well, I'm happy with it. I'm, a, I'm an indoorsy person. I, <laughs> I leave the house if I have to. Uh, prefer the colours a bit changed up like this, actually. Oh, you... <laughs> It's too late, Pisa, sorry. <laughs> no, it's just because really what would happen, you know, it should really be the same fabric sort of running down, I think, which is kind of what I wanted to make them. Um, what's wrong with the fireworks? I find they're very easy to use. Well, you're a better man than me, Mark. I don't know. It's just that the um, the fireworks themselves are great, and, they, and like I said, they look fantastic. It's just that um, display sequence tree is a bit funky. It's just, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think I'm, I just kind of struggle a little to to really uh, get it, get my head around it. But uh, but it's it's fine, you know. People are people are clever, and they're making some cool stuff. And I, like I said, I'm getting the hang of it. I have a minute of a fireworks show made. I have uh, yeah, a full minute, and the, the the piece of music I'm using is three minutes. Um, so we're getting there, you know. It's uh, it's happening. Okay, there we go. That's so that I mean, really, that was the last piece of sort of proper structure I wanted to do. Everything else now really is kind of detailing. Um, do I do park road showcases? No, I don't, Rex. I've done a couple. I did a couple of um, scenery showcases to start off with. I didn't find they fit me very well, and um, and also if I'm being really horrible, or uh, well, not horrible, how's the best to word this? I I'm not really a fan of channels that just show other people's stuff on. I I, I kind of think that they're they're kind of getting content for nothing, and um, yeah, it's not really my sort of thing. Uh, yeah, I didn't really like them. Um, um, thank, I'm I'm so Dragon Dash. You're so good at building, but you put a question mark at the end, so I don't know if I am or not. Uh, why don't you just change the color? <laughs> oh, yeah, good on that, couldn't I? Fucking what an idiot. Um, favorite coaster you like to build? I'm not really a massive coaster builder in this game. I've built a few. Uh, I'm much more scenery. I, I love the coasters, though. Uh, they think they're great, and I, I love riding them in real life. I've done quite a few. Not quite a few, actually. That's a lie. But, you know, a fair a fair old amount. I, mean, I'm, I'm, I think my coaster count is like 50 or something. So it's not massive, but it's, it's not awful. Um, right. Flat. Um, there it. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. There we go. Uh, poor Johnson. Yeah, sorry about that. Make it a party tent. It is a party tent. Well, it's a. You know. Okay, so I'm gonna see whether or not. So one of them fits there. Do two of them fit here? Mm, uh, with a with a slight overlap, two of them fit there. Yeah, that that should be cool. Okay. So let's. Uh, we're on, we've got the blue colour going, so we'll do the blue ones first. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to do a little bit more trim on the top as well. We should probably do these like this, shouldn't we, so they line up. But these don't have to be exact. In fact, I kind of want them a l it's very slightly bit off. Um, there we go. You know what tent needs? A sound system that constantly plays the pirate song. Under birdies, under bees. <laughs> 
that thing, man. Did you see the? Uh, they did a video with the words uh, in both English and Planconian. Planconian, Planco is the language, isn't it? Um, what's going on here? Um, yeah, and it, the words are. It's like I'm an octopus. I'm an octopus, or something like that. <laughs> Uh, love those scallops. I don't know what scallops are. I'm guessing they're these shapes. It's just like a little bit of trim. We need to go up around the top as well. It's mostly there to kind of neaten the shape up because the, the um, where, they, where they meet is a little off. So we, it's mostly there to, to help neaten that area up. So we're going to we're gonna throw these ones down and then the next ones we're actually going to take a little bit of time over placing them so it really neatens up the area. We might even find another piece we can just add around the top as a bit of trim. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, what's your favourite ride at Efteling? You may have asked me this in the last stream. You may have done. I don't recall you did. I've never been. Um, I'd love to go. It looks fantastic. And I was gutted that... Um, well, I wasn't gutted because I knew I wasn't going to be able to go. But the, 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 the Planet Coaster community did a, did a meet-up there a little while ago. And I really would have loved to have gone to that. But um, I did look into it. But with the baby being due so close, I just couldn't risk it. Um, so uh, maybe next year. But um, yeah, the the the, the uh, Baron looks fantastic. Uh, really, I mean, I know it's just sort of a relatively standard vertical drop coaster, but the uh, the theming on it looks uh, looks stunning. So I'd probably say that one. Uh, technical name is Half Moon Total Eclipse. Remember that Jaffa Cake advert. Happy Octopus or Whippy Tentafu. Thank you, Christian. There you go. Uh, evening, folks. How you doing, John? See, good to catch stream again. Hi, uh, Cadden. I hope you're well. Uh, thanks very much for joining. It was nice to see friendly faces. What do I hate about Planet Coaster? Uh, Sol, that's a good question. I hate nothing really. I don't hate anything. I have little issues with a few things. But they're, they're, uh, here's the thing. My issues are really small. And I think the main reason I have them is because most of the game is so fantastic. It just really bugs me that there are, that there are issues, you know? Um, there are so many... A fantastic things about it that the, the little issues um, and I think and I really I, I hate saying this because I know that it's going to be some people's specific job but my biggest issue with Planet Coaster they can pretty much all be boiled down to one word and that's UI um, I think the UI in general and the, you know the user experience in general is really quite funky in a lot of ways and I, I think an overhaul of, a, of the UI um, could would rectify a lot of the problems I have with the game. Um, but then there are other things as well, like just little things. Like I say, that I think the fireworks UI would have probably been better as a as a timeline. I think um, uh, the staffing UI isn't fantastic. I think the uh, uh, just in general, a lot of t to get to gain information, it's quite tricky. Um, pathing, I don't really have much of a problem with pathing to be honest. I know everyone else does. I genuinely, for the most part, can get the path to do what I want, apart from the odd bit. Um, I can usually kind of get the path to do what I, what I want it to do, you know. Um, something like what City Skylines has. Um, uh, mod support. Yeah, I, and I think they'll probably do it. I think they'll probably do it, but I reckon they'll probably get an expansion or two out of the way first. I think they'll... Although Cities does really well with expansions, you know, Mass Transit's made a load of money for them. Um, I think for the most part, they'll, they'll be thinking, well, let's let's charge money for a few expansions and then sort of let the mod community continue the development of the game almost, you know. Um, hi, John T. Hi, VG, PT. Welcome. Uh, you're very welcome here. I just think some of the building and scenery should be under the same tab. Yeah, yeah, building and scenery being split is a bit of a funky issue, really. I, I personally think it should probably just be like uh, walls and floors on one tab. Oh, that's quite hard to say. Walls and floors under one tab. And then pretty much everything else should just be classed as scenery. You know, um, I get the, I get what the, the difference is. You know, the, the scenery tab is... Uh, the, the building tab is stuff that attaches to walls, so it's li walls that are like... But, I really personally don't think that, that light should be split into two sections. You're better off having them all under one. We may be a tab that chooses between wall lights and, and, and not wall lights, you know. Uh, John T. Lacey May says hello. Hi, SJQ. Hi, welcome. Hi, uh, hi Lacey as well. Glad you could both make it. Uh, hello, Fridolf. Welcome to the stream. Um, what is similar with the two? 
um, Jordan, I'm not too sure what you're asking me about there, sorry. Apart from, you know, the semicircle scarecase path at the end of the main stream, you probably, oh, Jesus, yeah, that was hard work. But then, to be fair, what I was trying to do was was a bit funky there, you know. That would probably be tricky with most uh, most systems, I think. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. You know, uh, people say, oh, oh, you know, City Skylines, but that, that hasn't got the best pathing system. If you try and do anything other than placing roads down without something like Move It, it's all over the place as well. Uh, you in there? Um, we'll just make a coaster go as many times as you want would be nice. Yeah, little things like that, but they'll come, you know, they, they, they will come. It's the sort of thing that, you, you know, I'm always surprised they missed. But yeah, things like um, continuous loops. I'd love to be able to send like mine trains around a couple of times, you know. Uh, things like that, but you know all that sort of stuff. We're getting that stuff now. You know, there's a, there's a couple already. They tested the water with some of those new weird boomerang coasters where it's um, where they can go around more than once. So they're they're obviously working on that sort of thing. Need to get the colour from yellow again. Oh, man, it's warm today. There we go. Sat down there. I need to finish these. Um, do you like using other players' blueprints or making your own? Never using other players' blueprints in the game. Not once. Love looking at them. Um, but, you know, for me, this, this game is a creative game. I play this because I like to build things. Um, I have no problem with people using blueprints. I think it's a fantastic system, fantastic feature. Um, and, you know, I put, I'm, I'm trying, this, the whole reason these live streams exist, uh, you know, is, is me trying to build on blueprints. But uh, no, I don't use them myself. I think uh, a lot of people would feel a little shortchanged if they came to the channel uh, looking for sort of creative play and, and, and seeing me use other people's work. But, you know, who knows? Um, do you like... Uh, oh, yeah, read that one. Uh, the similarities between planet and cities. I think the probably biggest um, similarity is that um, the actual gameplay when you boil down to it is pretty weak, but they both have fantastic creative uh, ability, you know, they're basically just massive sandboxes, uh, and that's, you know, I'm all over that. Um, but I like the fact that, you know, you know, you can go and play something like Minecraft and you can build something that looks like a theme park. But I love the fact that in this theme park, you know, I can have people walking around and, you know, maybe they're not quite as bright as you'd like them to be, but, you know, overall, I... Uh, I love the fact that you could, they can even actually be used as a theme park. Thank you very much, Mr. Malova. Um, you've got yourself a super chat. Overlapping blue trim looks like Smurf buttocks. Hashtag Smurf buttocks. Uh, fantastic. I've, I've, I've still quite figured out what these super chats are, but yeah, thanks. <laughs> I think I get that money. I don't, I don't think it goes to YouTube. <laughs> Who knows? Um... How long did it take you to hit 11,000 subscribers? Um, the channel itself has sat here for, all oh, years, but I, I only really started making serious content when Planet Coaster launched, which was, test me if I'm wrong, but I think it might have been October last year, or maybe September last year, so uh, we're approaching a year. Um, it was probably, I think it was October, or it might have even been November. Um, let's have a look. I did, a, like I said, pretty much started making videos when it released. So, oh, November it was, yeah. So, so about, um, eight months, something like that. Um, Mr. Malova, so worth it. Yeah, it was. Everyone got to see your thoughts on Smurf buttocks. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> um, thank you for, uh, Danielle Milton, thanks for the sub. Uh, I missed that a little while ago, sorry. Uh, right, so that's around the outside. That looks pretty good. I'm not 100% sure on the blue ones, actually. I wonder if the blue, if the blue would be better. I know they are, you know, great-looking small but smurf buttocks. But I wonder if they'd be better off as a, as a one larger one instead. Ah, I think they would. What's my most hated scenery piece? Wow, that's a good question. I mean, it's a negative question, but that's okay. Um, probably these, you know. And I, I say hate is a very strong word. Um, they look fantastic. They move perfectly. The, the the plastic wrap on them looks fantastic. I but they're just they're so niche and so specific. I, I I haven't seen anyone use them for anything other than what they are. In fact, I haven't seen anyone use them. They're just really really specific things. Unless you maybe could do something with that, you know, to create a weird 
floating table or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably probably the big balloons just because they're they're a really really niche thing. Like I say, I think they look great, and maybe they're testing the water for floats and things like that. But yeah, I, I'm just uh, not a massive fan of them. Um, Ever since they added terraforming into cities, I obviously flatten all ground that I'm going to build on. I cannot stand the ugly train problems. Yeah, it has it has issues, Catherine. It really does. A few times in the in the let's play, we've had uh, we've had that issue. Oh, I'm really sorry. Smurf buttocks have to go. Um, the main similarity between cities and Planet Coaster um, is that I'll see something on Reddit, get super inspired, and then get just disappointed when I try and make it. Oh man, I feel you there, pal. Really feel you there. Um, where do you get your graphics card so I can play Planet Coaster? My graphics card is about two or uh, maybe even three years old now. It, uh, the game has nothing um, really that pushes the graphics card. It's all um, bottlenecked by the CPU. Uh, my graphics card is a GTX 780. And I think we're on, what, like 1080 Ti's now? So, yeah, it's... Um, really, don't, don't ask for advice regarding my graphics card. I, in fact, I don't think you can buy the graphics card I use anymore. Um... A lot of people ask me what my specs are a lot, but I don't really see the benefit in me telling them because my computer's two years old. You, the same, the money you would spend on building this computer would be quite a lot now because after a while, um, you know, graphics cards go really high up in price because the only people who are buying them are people who are using them for SLIs and things like that. Oh, uh, that's nearly there. C60. Yeah, there we go. Same colour. Um... I want some more spooky. Oh, sorry, Coldstone. Hi, how's it going? Whatever happened to Game Maker 101? Um, I stopped coding, to be honest, Coldstone. I'm afraid I I, I had an accident, so um, I couldn't use my uh, my fingers for a little while. It wasn't nothing major, but I burned quite badly. Burnt a few of my fingers. They're all they're all still here now. Don't worry. Um, yeah, but uh, for yeah for a good while I couldn't uh, I couldn't type, and I never really got back into coding, unfortunately. Oh wow, these ones still have that on it. I thought they took those off. Have I just like found a, not a bug, but I've just found that they're all off it apart from that one. Do you remember the? I said this in the last live stream actually. Do you remember when these had the Planet Coaster logo on them? And it's, I mean, it makes them really unusable to be honest. Let's hope it's not on the other side. Um. Yeah, it looks like the other side is okay. So we'll uh, we'll use that. Oh, I have to mention that to them. Mention that to them like, like they're my busy mates. Um, yeah, I think personally that looks better than having the Smurf bum. Yeah. Uh, nice, hi Trevor, thank you. Hope you're okay. I'm really great, Colstone. Yeah, like I say, it, it really wasn't as it really isn't as bad as I'm making out um, that it was. Uh, but like I say, it did unfortunately uh, mean I couldn't code, and I just I never got back into it to be honest. Um, I, I I toyed with sort of just deleting the channel to be honest, but because because I, I get a lot of people comment on it, and I I just I struggle to. To get back to them all the time, but you know it's it's there as a resource, and also um, Game Maker moved on to point two, and um, and I, I really just didn't have a clue what was going on, so uh, yeah, really lost it that way. No plans to get back into it. No, I'm afraid not. Not at the moment. Not until now, because this because this channels are so well for me now. Uh, if it got to a point where this was my full time job, um, I would then probably look getting getting back into into coding. Um, and look at maybe even developing my own games or something like that. Uh, kind of like what Nerd Cube's doing. If you guys watch Nerd Cube, he has sort of used, um, uh, or currently using YouTube as a platform for his, to, to sort of, you know, a bouncing platform for his own uh, game development studio, which is fantastic. I, I would love, uh, love the idea of creating my own simulation game. In fact, I've got, a, I think personally, think I've got a really good idea for doing one, but uh, you, will, uh, you may never hear about it. But if you ever do. This is the place I'd mention it. Uh, favorite part is foliage. Oh, I love putting foliage down. I'm going to put a little bit of foliage here because we kind of want it to look a little bit like a traveling circus. I, just, I want a few sort of like, like not vines, but, you know, a bit of dry bush <laughs> uh, around the place. You know, I'm such a child, aren't I? I can't believe I just laughed at that. I'm so sorry, everybody. Please don't leave in a huff. 
that I laughed at dry bush. <laughs> I'm still laughing now. Oh, I'm such a child. Um, right, let's put that there. Uh, no, my internet is bad. I must change to 144p. Wow, my word. You won't be able to make out anything anymore on the stream. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's, it's, it's watchable, I guess. I don't know. We have pretty good internet here. One of the good things, um, yeah, I get pretty pretty decent internet quality here. Um, eventually create Planet Coaster mods. Yeah, well, if they ever open it up, who knows? Who knows? I would love to know what. Because the problem is that they have their own engine, don't they? So I'm not too sure how they're going to be able to do it. It's not like you're going to be able to chuck something into Unity and, and transfer it. I don't know. I, I don't don't really deal with that sort of stuff much, so I don't know how they'll do it. I think to start off with, they'll probably just let custom uh, custom stuff. So, you know, like stuff stuff that's done with Blender or whatever. Probably start off with. Um, YouTube is dying. It's a fact. If you can give me any shred of proof, I will happily read it. But um, from talking to people who work in YouTube... Uh, from going on courses that YouTube provide, um, it's, it gets bigger every single day, and it most certainly, um, in my opinion, isn't going anywhere for a long time. And I, I genuinely think it's got to a point now where they'll, where we'll struggle to see anything even begin to sort of get the numbers that YouTube does. I think in the and that's a bad thing. You personally, I think I think competition is very healthy. You look at stuff like uh, you know I, I can't. I mean I know most MySpace was massive and then went, but. Things like Facebook, you know, I just I can't see them going anywhere. I just think they're a part of life now. It's like saying, um, you know, custards on the way out. I just, you know, it's one of them things that just I don't know why I thought of custard. It's one of them things that'll always be in. Um, my favourite thing is making uh, topiary gardens. Oh, cool. Amanda Miller, check the yellow pieces on the top of the tent. They look like the default green. Ah, oh, I missed some. Um, these pieces. A one D. Yellow. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, shite. Yeah, we'll sort that out. Thanks for noticing that. Where, where the hell has nobody else pointed that out? Um, I'll fix that. Sorry, that's that's me. That's my... Um, I'm unfortunately very colorblind, so I struggle um, with colours a lot. And you guys are meant to help me out with that sort of thing. You've missed the trick there, haven't you? Never mind, I'll let you off this once. And because you're all beautiful. Um, I watch more YouTube than TV. Oh, tell me about it. The only thing I watch on TV is Game of Thrones. Um... Move that round. Turn that there. There we go. Yeah, we don't um we don't actually have a TV license. We just have um between like YouTube and Netflix and all those, that's that that does us. Uh, hashtag RIP Custard, yeah. I don't even have a TV in my living room. I sit on my couch and watch YouTube on my phone. Yeah, we oh, we do have a TV, but I have a like a like I say, I have like a dongle thing in it that that just has um uh, YouTube and Netflix and Amazon and Now TV and we, we pay for all of them. It's ridiculous, but we don't pay for a TV license because we don't have we don't watch terrestrial TV. We just don't have the signal coming into the house anymore. It's my first stream from you, Lego Man plays. Welcome, uh, Peter. I thought it was just the light. Well, I'll let you off this once. We should probably fix that before we carry on, shouldn't we? Because that's those bottom pieces done. Yeah, these are all wrong. Ugh. It's okay. I think it's relatively manageable. We just unfortunately need to go and change all these like that. Okay, so 415, yeah. There we go. I, do you know what? Apart from it being the minuscule brighter, I yeah, uh, I really can't tell the difference between that. Um sorry, John, too busy looking at Smurf buttocks, just to see you're streaming now. Uh, I'll be here with you every week. It's great to hear. I really enjoy it. It's great to be able to chat with you guys. It, it gets a little lonely um, just sort of creating YouTube videos, to be honest. It's really nice to get some. And also, it's really great to get, like, instant feedback on stuff we're building. So uh, I'm definitely here for the long haul when it comes to streaming. And who knows, if the channel got big enough, you know, maybe a couple of streams a week, you know. Uh, like I say, we've got the reason this one exists, this live stream, is because Patreon, uh, we got to a tier where I've been able to drop a shift in work. So I now do... Uh, seven hours less a week in work and those seven hours are always going to be uh, a Tuesday evening because I work shifts I work all over the place but uh, they've, they've told me that I can always have Tuesday evenings off so no matter what I mean obviously there might be a little gap when baby comes along but um, when we get sorted and stuff John so you should mix and match the half moons on the tents color wise that way can they stand out more 
that's not a bad idea, actually. Musician, yeah, I like that. Yeah, maybe just sort of swapping them around a bit. Let's give that a go. Let's just get all these the right colour first before we start changing other colours of stuff. You know, kind of knowing where to click now. So this shouldn't take too long. Um, oops, there we go. There and there, there and there. Um, somebody just out of interest, because I'm looking at my YouTube analytics here and trying to figure out what the numbers are. Can uh, a couple of people in the chat give me a rough idea of how many people are watching right now? Um, because I don't think the number YouTube gives me is right. Uh, so yeah, if you don't mind, just uh, you haven't all got a spam. You know, I'm sure uh, a couple of people will do it. Um, yeah, rough idea of how many people are watching. Uh, there's a bit of a gap in the roof. I know, I just noticed it myself, but pfft, what are you going to do? Um, what is the scale of the tent? There is a shop, so that gives you the scale. Um, so it's 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 a, probably a bit smaller than it would be, really. Um, Geekies and do I like Pirates of the Caribbean? Um, the ride or the film? The first film was fantastic. Um, I think they've kind of gone a little downhill ever since. Uh, I love the ride, going every time. It's a classic, uh, it really is. But um, yeah, the, my uh, my log flume is. Loosely based on Pirates of the Caribbean, Lo sort of, you know, interest is, 77. Um, oh, maybe it is about right then. It, it, it seems to show a little less than it, than it actually is, but yeah, it looks uh, about right. Okay, cool. Uh, at the back of the tent, uh, in the shadow, the colour difference is more prominent. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, you can see it there, can't you? Where was that gap? I just saw it. Here it is. There we go. Problem solved, sort of. Um, apparently, we're all happy to check. Yeah, thank you. Got it. <laughs> the fact that you've all given me weird numbers, is, uh, different numbers is fun. That's, I'm assuming that's just people coming and going and not um, all of you being numerically dyslexic or something. Uh, whoops, that's blue. We don't want to do that. Oh, let's select some more blue instead. Awesome. Uh, what? Catherine, I have no idea what you're on about. Sorry. <laughs> it's got what? Question mark. Um, if you press statistics, it says there's no statistics available. Yeah, I th I think that's um, because it's live. I think that's it's, I think those sort of stats only come uh, afterwards. Uh, but I've got like a there's like a little back end thing you can see. Um, worst game of bingo ever. Yeah, fantastic. Favorite Disney character. Wow, that's a good one. Um, oh, that's pretty tough. Favorite Disney character. I mean, I always loved um, Goofy when I was a kid. I had a huge fascination with Goofy, but not necessarily like the Goofy movie or even particularly cartoons. Just, um, do you know what? Hold on one second. I'll show you. I'm running off. I'm back in a minute. Oh, I'm back, I'm back. I just don't want everybody to turn the camera off. I just didn't want people to come and see. Um, show us your back end. Shush. Stoke um, This is my Goofy. Um, I have had... He's lost a tooth, but we'll let him off. Um, I have had him since I was about seven years old. And he has come absolutely everywhere with me. Uh, he's lived in every house I've lived in. He's been to... 30 plus countries we did we've done a lot of europe um he's come with us and um here he is so he, he yeah he's probably my favorite disney character just because this specific one this actual one uh, has been everywhere with me he's had he's had uh, he's had repairs over the years look he's been stitched up um yeah here we go do i have legs yes i do look you just saw me run away um what ideas do you have for a sci-fi area in your panic coaster i haven't made really yet um I haven't really thought about my sci-fi area too much. Um, but yeah, there he is. There's, there, there's Goofy. So he's he's sort of like my pride and joy, to be honest. I had to go and get him because I put him in the baby's room. Uh, so I'm sort of passing passing him on, passing the mantle, so to speak, passing the goof on. So yeah, he's be, he's uh, he's been everywhere with me. So he's probably my favourite Disney character just because, um, yeah, that, that specific one, that specific Goofy uh, has been with me since I was a little kid. Um, yeah. We go make some more yellow. Uh, the missing tooth makes it more cute. Yeah, yeah. It does. I didn't pull it out on purpose. I can't remember where I lost that. I think the tooth came out one sports day. Um, we did a sports day in school where you had to like egg and spoon race, and you had to take a mascot. So obviously I took him because 
he went everywhere. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's when he lost his lost his uh, little tooth. But uh, never mind. Uh, he's still going strong. Uh, oh, God, don't show us his crutch. Do you want to see my crutch? He hasn't got stitches like that. Thank God. Um, we're getting there with this now. Um, thank you. There we go. Just making sure I didn't miss anyone. Um, pretty awesome. I've got a teddy bear I've taken everywhere as well. I know it's sad, isn't it? But you know these things. These things that we do. Um, let me see. It's uh, these things that we do. I, I have also. He's also in there. I'm not running back out again. But I, I have. A, I have a teddy uh, from when I was born, actually. Um, and he's a, a, a little, a, just a little, just like generic teddy. But he has a. He has a band on his foot or his arm uh, that's like the little hospital bands that you get. And uh, it actually, the, the band says, I belong to B Sparrow. Um, and it's, it was, I've actually owned this teddy before I was named. I've actually owned him before I had a name. And they wrote B because um, it was short for baby. Um, so I've actually owned the teddy before I've owned my name. So yeah, he he's up there as well. I, I I'm a bit of a hoarder, it turns out. I didn't ever really realise until after, until you made me realise just now. I keep a lot of stuff like that. I'm a bit of a, a bit soppy when it comes to that kind of thing. I love memories, and I, I have a terrible memory. I really 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 forgetful. So I have to keep stuff like that to remind me uh, of of cool things I've done or of cool places I've been. Um, mine was a gift from my daughter when she was little. Take this with you, Daddy, and it's gone everywhere ever since. James, that's adorable. Um, yeah, that's sick. I hope that's good. Sick. Uh, where is the cat? Oh, he's not there. Sorry, he's he's. We're having some slight issues with Oreo. He's been a little bit of a naughty fuck at the minute. So we're um, sorry for swearing, but he's been terrible. Um, I think sort of pregnant wife hormones are sending him a little loopy. And um, we're having to keep him sort of very monitored uh, because he's uh, yeah he's getting a bit angry with the other cat and he's getting um, very sort of territorial and just a bit crazy. And we 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 looked into him. He's gone to the vet. Vet says he's fine. He's you know he, he, he's still eating and everything. He's still well. Um, he'll just uh, he'll calm down once uh, once Baby Sparrow's along. So um, what have I got selected there that isn't this blue colour? Because it's telling me these are all different colours. Can't see what it is. So we're going to change you to yellow. Oh. You know what? I'm not convinced that works, actually. Maybe. Maybe we, um, maybe we make them a darker colour of the colour that they are. You know? Maybe maybe that's what we do. I'm not quite sure that works with the with the with the big bright yellow. This is genuinely like the only video game soundtrack I've not got bored of. I could, I, I could listen to this in the car. I don't. Tent's looking really good. Yeah, it's coming on nice, isn't it? Uh, blame the cat on the wife. I genuinely think that's what it is. Like I say, he's normally golden. He absolutely loves people. The most friendliest uh, cat you've ever met. Um, just at the moment, he's just he's just not in the best of moods, you know. Uh, so we're going to drop you down to be a little darker. Yeah, I think that might be the way to go with it, just to give it a bit of a a bit of a reference, so we can actually see it. Because like you say, with these um, with these shiny pieces that just kind of roll into one. You need something to drag them down a bit. Um, so we'll we'll do this, and then we'll look at actually doing something else. We haven't actually got that much done. Be careful with that one not to go too dark because it'll become a bit of a mustardy colour of voice. Um, circus expansion would be good. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I could like a show expansion would be good. And all you would need to do is give them um, seats that you can like select and set like a time on them and they could animate them sitting and clapping and cheering and make and kind of make your own shows you know uh, that was personally how i would like to see it being done so obviously I have some set blueprinty ones but um you know just give us give me give me rows of seats that i can put down and face at something and then give me more animatronics or animals or something like that 
Uh, it makes it look like them have shadows, uh, which looks like good at the different lights. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, I think that was an, a, a good, uh, a good little thing. Okay. Uh, Lego man plays. I wish I could build things like you can in US. Please keep playing. Um. Uh. Oh, we have an admin. Hi, admin. Where are you? Manage moderators. Let me see. Let me just have a look. Yeah. Right. I wanted, I've just had a text then saying, uh, sorry, didn't realize you moved it to Tuesday. Sorry, that's my fault, Andrew. Um, yeah, cool. Come join us. He might already be here. I don't know. Let's see if the chat catches up. Um, although the chat's been very good today. You've all been lovely boys and girls. Uh, I have an idea for you. Let's build park. Have a jousting area in the fairy tale. Oh, that's neat. Uh, who did a really good jousting area? Um, Uthris, one of his very first, uh, I don't know if you're still in the chat, Uthris, if you are, hi. Um, he did a really great Renaissance Fair park, and that had a really cool Jason area. Andrew Coulson's here, everyone. So, on your best behaviour now as a moderator, admin Andrew's here to kick your asses. Um, so we're doing Tuesdays now. Yeah, sorry. Um, I always said that at the beginning of the stream. I didn't realise that Planet Coaster stream on a, on a, um, on a, on a, uh, 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 Monday. At uh, Tuesday, even. So, okay. So, here's what I'm thinking here. But we might have to be really... Really careful here. Because this this is basically... This is going to be the way that we neat and stuff up. Oh, God. This is going to be so hard to get it right. Please don't... Nobody sound capture that. I just realised that I said it really badly. Um... If anyone can think of a better way of having to do this, that would be great. Because this is... Hey, see? This is going to do that sort of stuff. Um, Wonder Parks or Zoo will come first. I think... Ooh, water Parks first. I do. I think Water Parks first. I would go as far as saying that maybe Zoos might even be a separate expansion. No, a separate game. Um, yeah. There we go. Um, this, yeah, thank you. I had the Smurf buttock. There we've got, there we've got like little mini Smurf buttocks. They're like, they're all playing together. Um, uh, you're going to have to moderate Johnson with all the Smurf bums. <laughs> Uh, cover it up with flowery plants or oh, not two blues are off color. Oh, yeah, I know I haven't changed the color yet Um not sure if plants will work I mean that it's indeed that I personally think that looks good, but I just think it's gonna take for forever You know, I just think it's gonna be a long process that Um Tell me now. The only reason I think there's, that the zoo might be a separate game is because it's it's so much more stuff. You know, there's just they're adding so much more stuff. Um, so I, I I can see them doing it. And also they've they've announced they've 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 registered the name Planet Safari as a trademark, uh, which sounds more like a um, surely um, if it was going to be Planet Coaster Zoo, it would be Planet Coaster zoos or planet coaster wild or you know something like that the fact that they've planet safari to me sounds like um it, it's going to be its own thing um i'm happy that this live stream isn't full of swastikas and trump propaganda i mean can be if you want you know i'll go i'll do whatever the gets the views um <laughs> musician i think dlc should be limited to licensed things but that's just my opinion yeah I'd be, i i'm happy with that little little packs like the bats of future stuff the other day i'm more than happy to throw a few quid every now and again to if it just keeps them sort of creating the free stuff you gotta remember that that the day that those three dlcs came out we also had a new free coaster a new free flat rise um, loads of bug fixes, loads of adjustments in, in the, how the game works, you know? Um, so, you know, I, I I have no real problem with that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, DLC, I don't think that, um, I don't think that, uh, oh, Zach, hi, Zach. Tell me if I'm right, pal. <laughs> um, I, I don't think that, um, that, that DLC for me, that means like small little packs, you know? 
full expansions i will happily throw 20 quid at a water park you know that no problem there sorry uh, i understand that you know other people may not want to but we have had so much free stuff off these people it's ridiculous um yeah, that's that. That's um, that's what I go anyway. Come on, I need comments on this. Am I doing this all over the place or not? It ne it's neatened them up, but um, I mean, really, it shouldn't really have that dead fine line there, should it? But yeah, come on, what am I doing here? I need I need something to neaten up these tops here. I can't think of a piece that we've got. Oh, what about actually? Oh no, you're you're still pretty big. Um. Uh, still pretty big um john T, i'm saying nothing <laughs> yeah don't blame me it's not it's not worth your job is it um <laughs> uh, expansions where it's at yeah per personally i think expansions are probably the way to go in the in the grand scheme a big one that does water parks a big one that does zoos a big one that maybe just like adds new stuff like a like around the world expansion that's you know five new scenery sets that's uh um you know uh, chinese uh you know aztec all that sort of stuff I know people in the game are making Aztec, they're making pagodas and stuff, but they're using thousands of pieces and they're incredibly creative people. It'd be nice for, uh, you know, uh, lesser mortals like myself uh, to be able to have, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, uh, it looks good, but it's going to be super fiddly. Yeah, it is. Um, when in doubt, place a shrub. I can't stick a shrub up there. I think it would look better in light blue and uh, match the flags up top. What are the... Like, oh yeah yeah no i like that they're a bit different to be honest I, i'm kind of happy with that um uh yeah i think also that with with uh with big with little dlc all the time you they're gonna you're gonna start to sort of fracture the uh the workshop a bit too much personally um so so i think uh you know little dlc's i mean again little like like we've got there with the monsters and stuff they're, they're so good um it, it, it wants me to it, it wants me it makes me want to um to do like a universal style park you know like a like a, a movie lot style park um in a big way but we still haven't even got halfway through the park that we're building so maybe not oops we need to move them over and stick a th another one in the middle maybe or actually no we can maybe do it with these just sort of even them out a little bit Oh hey Andrew, I went down to um to see Lucy today. I was hoping they'd be in the new place, but they're not. They were still the old one, but uh, they're they're massively shifting. Um, are you? I don't know if you whether whether you're going on the on the new thing or not. Uh, when the new one opens, sorry, this is really really specific. <laughs> I'm talking to. I just don't get to chat to Andrew properly much. Uh, I like how you did it, but the red and yellow should be darker too. They are darker, or more darker, more darker, dark dark darkest i don't know what i'm saying um 18th century expansion <laughs> i'm here hello hello eric we've, we've been waiting for you we can finally start we've been sitting here, we've been sitting here for an hour twiddling our thumbs <laughs> sorry I, 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 people are quite shocked when i'm sarcastic on streams I, it doesn't come across in most of my regular videos <laughs> um let's do this whoops Go. Move them in. Sorry, this is this is going to be this is going to be three weeks building this thing. I can see it happening now. I was hoping to get these cats off this episode so we could start something new next week, but I think this probably is going to take us up to nine. Um, I believe tomorrow is the last day. Yeah, I think it is, mate. Yeah, I think it is. Um, uh, do the ability to horror scare mazes would be good. Yeah, that would be good. I'd like. Here's what I'd like to see. One thing that I think would work pretty well. This came on um, um, theme park group or something on Facebook. It is one of the, one of the many Planet Coaster groups I'm a member of, and it was people saying what are the three things you'd love to see in the game. And and you know, there's obvious things like Omni Movers would be really good, and like a you know a bigger horror pack that'd be cool. Love to see that in there. I think that I think possibly next update, maybe October, November, something like that. So that would fit quite well time wise with that. Um, So something like that, but also it'd be something like uh, like a little invisible box I could put down, or maybe even like a, a like a, a visible box, but a, a little box I could put down that that tells guests to be impressed when they walk past it, you know, tells them to react react amazed 
you know, like they've done with the, th you know, the, the tech's there because they've done it with fireworks, you know, when fireworks go off, guests stop what they're doing and look up, they're not watching the fireworks, uh, just the AI knows that something's going on and in that direction, yeah, so, you know, it, it exists, I'd like to see something like that in the game where I can say, this is a scary thing, and then any, uh, you know, anyone who's, who walks past it, it gets a little shock, you know, and then you could build haunted houses, I mean, like, walk through haunted houses, ugh, that'd be so good. Um, uh, what we're doing? Fly me over. Where? Why? Where do you want to go? Want to be in Liverpool? You, you, it's not great. <laughs> uh, if everyone's in Liverpool, our friend Lucy's moving her video game shop called Level Up. Yeah, you should check it out. It's really good. Um, she's also a YouTuber. If you look for Tor Athena on YouTube, um, uh, they're not darker. They're not darker. They are darker, but darker still. That's fine. We can do it. Um, You'll end up working longer on this than the other park yet. <laughs> How long will this be, Jordan? Who knows? Uh, two live streams I want to watch at the same time. Why? Who else is on? I try, I'm trying my hardest to find a time where nobody else is live streaming. It's so hard to do. I really hope I'm not on the same time as somebody cool. Um, not for not for me. You know, I just you know I don't want. I don't, I don't like to fracture the the Planet Coaster community. It's, we all should go and watch everyone else. I do. I, I spend my hours that I'm not playing the game or making a video. I spend it watching other people. Oh, comments seems to be pretty positive about doing a, um, a video showcasing some of the smaller channels. So I, I, I'm going to try and start working on that um, next week, I think. I think it's a great idea. Um, but I would wouldn't I? I came up with it. Um, if they were triggerable for jump scares, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I mean, Peter. A little thing that I can that I can set to a display so that when people walk past, it jumps out or, um, you know, oh, that'd be so good. That would be so good. Like even if they just want to give us actual models, you know, like skeletons in boxes, coffins, you know, um, that would be awesome. Because at the moment, for I mean, people have done some really creative stuff with uh, to create dark rides and haunted houses and stuff. But they, they're they're a little static, you know. They're really good, but they they a lot of like really great scenes using fire. Uh, the only real animatronic you can really use, I think, is probably well Kraken, obviously. But then also like um, the knights, they're cool as well. Uh, they work they work pretty well in haunted houses. But yeah, full on. If I could have one thing in the game, it would be that it would be a full on horror expansion with their uh, omni movers and the ability to build to put a path down that acts as a haunted house. Yeah. Uh, will this video include Parkitect? Uh, I, do you know what? I don't watch that much Parkitect, unfortunately, so I don't. I wouldn't really know who to share. I think the only one I've I've got actually sort of on my channel at the moment that I uh, that I watch is Coaster B. Uh, he's doing a really nice series. He's just started a Disney series, actually. It looks pretty good. Um, we can't have a live stream full of people saying, "Yeah, who's actually for share? Don't ask for share. It's, it's boring." Um, I'm your biggest fan. I'm sure you are, uh, Kim. I'll do this one. Kim Andre Hovden. Welcome to the stream, but come on. Shout outs are boring. Ask me something interesting. <laughs> Let's chat. Let's converse. Let us, uh, let us share ideas and thoughts. Let's not just say people's names. Uh, there we go. Move those over. Whoops. That's a little off, but... I'm going to move it into place and then fix it. D, 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 D. Move that around. There we go. There we go. Um, oh, do you know what? They scare the hell out of me, those do. Um, thank you very much, whoever it was. <laughs> sexy, sexy bicycle. This live stream is intense. <laughs> Fantastic. Who's this? Um, oh, it's just telling me it's come through on PayPal as well. Wow, that's swift, isn't it? Thank you very much, Sexy Sexy Bicycle. And because PayPal has told me I now know your real name. Ooh, what to do with this power? Um, this live stream is intense. That's fantastic. I love good dad joke. I need to get on the dad jokes, don't I? Being a dad very soon. I need to get all the rubbish jokes. I heard a dead good joke in words today. But it's, it's, quite, it's not offensive, but it's a little rude. So I best not tell it. Um, if you come over, at, when we finish the live stream, by the way, at 9pm, we head over to our Discord channel and we have, we're going to have a little chat there. I'm going to try doing an audio chat, actually, see how that goes. It might be, it might be a hot mess because there'd be a lot of people. But uh, yeah, if you want to have a little chat with us afterwards, uh, come and join us on Discord. We'll be there from 9 till 9.30. The Discord's always open, like, but you know, it's people come on and off at different times because of time, uh, time zones and stuff. But we'll be there from... 
Uh, noise. What noise can I hear? Oh, it's the archer flinging stuff. Um, now you got to do a shout out for the mods to show your support. Andrew knows his place. <laughs> now Andrew's fantastic. He uh, he has the coolest job in the world. He works for. Um, I think you've said it on the stream before. We can say you can't. We? You work. He works for Lego, which is like the coolest job. Um. Whoops. There we go. This is. I know. Do you know what? This is the most boring thing in the world. So what? I might come back and do all this off camera, and we could do some more cool stuff. Do you think we should do that? Like, still work on the tent, but just not do all these bits. Have I gone all the way around yet? Let's just finish the blue. Oh, do you know what? I'm not even liking it now. I've done it. It looks like a cake. Should be able to just do this. Slide it into place, but of course I can't because I haven't made it line up. Um, there we go. Uh, more like uh, Dead Joe's Discord link. It's in the description of this video. You can head over there now. It's usually quite quiet while we're live streaming, though, because anyone who's around will, will obviously join us on the live stream as opposed to on Discord. But you never know, there might be people about. Um, Smurf buttocks are never boring. And yeah, I know. These are quite dark Smurf buttocks, though. I don't know if these um, if these really count. These are, I guess these are like, these are tanned Smurfs. So can a Smurf tan? What, what I don't know. What could it just like like it's like orange? What's like tan is like orange, isn't it? What does orange and blue make? It doesn't, does it? They're like opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, it's lovely. Oh well, thanks, Pete. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's um, I just worry that it's nice just to chat, isn't it? You know, it'd be nice to have something. Do you know what it'd be nice? It'd be nice if this with this week's video's thumbnail looked a little different to last week's video's thumbnail. That would that would be good if we could get to a point where it was notably different on the thumbnail. I'd I'd I'd, I'd die happy. Um, <laughs> pop some fairy lights. Oh yeah, we will do lighting. Definitely have a lighting uh, pass. Definitely. Uh, thank you very much, Nicole Wheatley. One of my favourite channels by far. Thank you, John, for brightening my day so much. You are so welcome, Nicole. Thank you for joining us. It's um, it's really great to have you. Here. Yeah, have you all here? Uh, let's bring that across like that. Can you all hear the gulpy thing when that goes off? By the way, because it's so fucking loud in my ears. It's ridiculous. Um. We about, but none of us are talking because we're here. Exactly, that's what that's what I mean. Nobody's, everyone's on the chat uh, on this chat instead. Okay, do you know what? Happy with that. I will do the other colours, but I'm going to do them off camera because it's really boring. Let's let's make this look a little bit more interesting. Um, one thing we need to do is we need to carry this rope down um, to where it needs to be. Not world axis. What will it not let me do it? Now that's really annoying. Um, it needs to like come down to the ground. So we can do that. We could probably get rid of one of those pieces. I think we just need the two. Um, and then we do it. Go P. Yeah, I thought you could. I hope it's not too loud for you because Jesus Christ, honestly, it absolutely deafens me every time it goes off. Um, but if I but I, if I have it quieter, I, I worry I might miss it if there's music on and stuff. So uh, not quite. Go on. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. Um. Perfect volume on my side, that's good, okay. As long as it's not too loud, that's all. Um, like I say, it's mostly there for for me knowing that it's a thing. Um, right, we need like a nail. What can we use for a nail? There's a, do you know what? I know there's a piece because I've seen a few people do custom supports and they have these tiny little nails that go around but I can't remember what piece it is they use. It's not like the tops of one of these, is it? What do they look like? No, it's n it's not actually, but that's a that is a useful piece. I remember that they look like that. Um, is this game worth getting a PC? Uh, I don't know. I'm not the best person to answer that. I live on this game, um, but you know, other people may may have different opinions. There's those ones now they're a bit too permanent. Want something like it's hammered in. Oh, I wish I could think what the piece is. A PC is worth getting a PC. Yeah, I, I love my PC. I, you know, I use it a lot. I do video editing. You know, I need a PC. I could I couldn't manage on a, um, I couldn't manage on a on a laptop or anything like that. Uh, it's not a piece of chain, is it? No. What is it? Oh God! I wish, if anyone who watches other people, when am I going to open the park? This park will never open. This is just these are for workshop builds. Um, these people are just I don't know where I don't know how they've heard about this. They're just walking around pri uh, private property right now. 
they are the wall hooks. Are they? I'm not sure they are. I I think I figured out what it is. I think it's these. Four meter. I think it's these. Yeah, it's that. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a like a big chunky nail? Um what does the new TV bracket look like? Ah, that might be actually. That might work as well. And maybe then maybe that this might not be quite big enough. Um but that's the idea that it's going into the I mean we'll probably tear it a little as well. That way and that way. Oh here we go. So we've gone from We've gone from spending hours lining up art pieces to spending hours lining up a nail. Good. I'm glad you get the quality content here on this stream. Here we go. Get it right. And then down a bit. Snowman pipe. No, I'm not too sure. Uh, how long were you uploading to YouTube before you started getting a following? Um, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit of a... Maybe, well, not a, not a weird case. But I... Um, the channel was going for ages and it was really really slow build but i wasn't really pushing content out as much as i should be uh, when planet coaster hit i kind of rode the wave of planet coaster and you can see a lot of channels who are creating planet coaster stuff now uh, did exactly that like um uh, myself uthris the lady designer um they were they were a little bigger than me and they still are a little bit bigger than me and then um like silverette was doing pretty well from city skyline so he had about fifty thousand subscribers he rode the wave massively and is now i think hit 100k or if not he will do soon and um, i kind of went from 300 to about 6,000 with the ride of the planet coaster launch uthris and the lady went from sort of two three thousand to about sort of 10 11 obviously they're bigger now um um i have a following yeah stokies you're it mate you're my following <laughs> Uh, I play Planet Coaster just fine on my laptop. Yeah, oh, laptops can play it, don't get me wrong. But, like, I need a PC to do everything else as well. Um, yeah. Right, what do we think of that? I think that looks pretty brilliant. <laughs> but we'll, we'll try some of the other pieces just in case. Screens, um, these could... Whoops. Like, that's pretty good. Although, I think that one looks more like a nail. Well, they, these, well, these might look like big old nails. Um, okay, that's they're like they're a bit bigger, but they might work quite well. Sort of like a bit more stylized, you know. Like that. I don't know. I, I think that that one probably is better. I'll leave them there. Um, I'll leave them there. It looks satisfactory. Oh, brilliant. Um, the music I got on my laptop, uh, I have because I could play... Ro I got a laptop because I could play Rollercoaster Second 3. Yeah, obviously not bigger. Um, uh, you were going to swear again, weren't you? I, I might have done. Yeah, I might have done. Um, right, I'm going to leave them on the screen for a second. I am going to go and grab a drink because I am absolutely gasping. Um, so let me know which one of those you prefer. Please, thank you
Hello, I'm back. Um, the stream's a bit behind. I, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what I, I don't know what I said wrong. I don't know if I, if I swore. I apologise. I do swear though. I, you know, said it before. This is not advertised as a channel, 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 and a channel for kids. You know, we 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 are adults here. Children are very welcome, but I, I'm not. You know, I'm not. I don't class myself as kid friendly. Um, mostly because I'm too boring for kids. Uh, right, so big seems to be popular. Um, Christ, I'm giving loads of quotes today. Uh, I, I, I personally prefer the smaller one. I'll be honest with you, I think it looks more subtle. Um, a few people said a wooden one. Uh, a wooden tent would be traditional. Yeah, um, I can't think of anything. I, I think a wood, uh, yeah, a metal one. I don't know, I use metal tent pegs on my tent. I mean, my tent isn't this big. But, I don't know, I think... Uh, I think somebody said the, the the pirate loop as well, which I think would look great, but I've got a feeling it might be a little there uh, too big. Um, but we can try. This thing, rope coil. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I, I like the fact that there's some excess. So maybe like every couple of these we could have one of these so it looks like the you know it's been tied down and the excess is left next to it that could work pretty well so let's try and line it up to get rid of the bit of metal um you know like something like that just not on every one but every few there's like a bit of excess rope or you know maybe even to a point where we could oh no they're a bit long aren't they for that one yeah maybe you know, like that on some of them. I don't know. Um, this is well. So, John T, I've been following you for ages, but just rewatched your Let's Play for inspiration for my own park, and it certainly gave me inspiration. Fantastic, Dylan. I know, I, I know you've been around for ages. I recognise the name. Um, you're very welcome here. I'm glad. I'm 39 watching it, Jordan. I guess you're more than we're kids are more than welcome. I try my hardest not to swear because um, I know, I know, uh, I know some kids they can you know can't watch channels that swear because you know the parents and rightly so. As well, parents have said that they they, they shouldn't. Um, let me just try tipping it upside down, seeing if that's good. Yeah, no, it's not, is it? Because the metal sticks out. Okay, we'll go back the other way. Uh, there. I personally think like lit, just like a little bit like that, just every now and again. There we go. Just as like a bit of excess. Uh, I'm back, Geekson. Welcome back, Henry. I'm so glad you could join us. Uh, I do not remember that. I only watched Dumbo once. What were we about Dumbo? Uh, remember in Dumbo when they were pounding on the circus tent pegs metal and they're using sledgehammers? I can't remember it. I don't. I'm not. I wasn't a massive fan of um, uh, of Dumbo. Uh, taking my idea and using it. Hey, it's a great idea, pal. Uh, Mr. Moldova it looks really good. I think. Um, like I said, I know originally you kind of meant just to be wrapped around there, and I, that's. I, I agree. I think that would look really good. Um, but I think just as a bit of excess rope, that's that's pretty neat. Little things like that, I think, are, are really good. Um, you've hit the nail on the head with this tent design. Yes, I love the puns. Bring on the puns. Uh, Lauren Fenty, welcome. Thanks for the sub. Sorry, I totally missed that. No it, it doesn't make a noise when people sub because I thought it would get annoying because I'm, I'm getting all the subs. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, let's spin this round then. Try and work this into the same spot as this one. Mm, no, it would be ridiculous for them to line up, wouldn't it? Of course. We're going to have to eyeball this quite a lot. Uh, 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 uh. One. Um, no one. You don't go much lower than that, do you? You go about there. You go about there. This game is incredibly. Th if you struggle with like being patient, this game is great to try and increase your patience because you have to get so uh, so comfortable with holding on. Um, people are really hammering hammering in these puns. Yeah, the nail is really on point. Yes, very good. <laughs> That's amazing. Stampy, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm joking, thank you. Um, let's carry this around the back. Let's go. Oh, that's interesting. It's actually keeping the height now for us, so we should just be able to do that. Boop. Oh, not quite. There. 
little fine tune there. No, we're good. And then again, uh, a little flick around here. Roughly. Uh, I love the way you've done that circus ten. Thank you, Stampy. I'm glad uh, glad you like it, buddy. Um, it's not quite finished. I don't think we'll quite get it finished in this episode. We'll probably, I'll probably start off next live stream showing it finished. I think. I think that's probably going to be the way we go with it because um, it, it's going to need a few little tweaks, but they're a bit dull to do on camera. I think. Um, Oh, the rope's a bit funny here. Um, Elias, hi, Geek. Isn't this my first of your live streams? How is the castle show going? Uh, it's not going too bad. We've got about a minute of footage now, about a minute finished, um, and it's going to be about three and a half minutes long. So it's getting there. Um, so like the main the main sort of fireworks are going pretty well now. The, 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 the toughest part at the moment, at least, is, is kind of um, uh, tweaking the, uh, the lights and the... Um, and sort in the billboards out as well. He still needs to do that. But yeah, it's it's going pretty good. And I, I hope um, the the weight is worth it. I, th I think it's got a lot more sort of, I don't want to say effort, because people obviously put a lot of effort and stuff, but there's a lot more going on than most of the fireworks shows I've seen currently in the game. Like a lot of people have just kind of, uh, you know, does some really good fireworks shows, but I'm trying to do a lot more with it. And also, I'm trying to keep it quite realistic as well. One thing I've noticed in a lot of people's fireworks shows is they kind of just go and set everything off. And um, yeah, I'm trying to do it a little bit more realistic so that it's um, yeah a little bit more like you would probably see in real life. Um, okay, good. I don't want that to have that rope. You're going to have to come somewhere else because that's it's silly to have both the front ones there. But uh, that can be good. Okay, um, let's have a look. Um, uh, Will, are you able to see a list of people watching your stream? I think so, yeah. Um, only No, only people who type in the chat I can see. Uh, that's it. Um, the moment in Dumbo, pounding on 10 pegs in the rain, I think is one of the most amazing pieces of hand-drawn animation ever. Oh, cool, I'm going to look it up. I love, I love animation. Uh, just for some reason, yeah, Dumbo. I was a big fan of Disney, love all the Disney movies, but yeah, Dumbo never quite hit it with me. Um, nailed it with the tent. Cheers, Henry. Still yeah, smashing the uh, the puns. I like it. Smashing, there's one. Um, I really want a job cleaning mirrors. It's something I can really see myself doing. Yeah, fantastic. Um uh, John T, how long are you streaming for today? I'm streaming till 9 p.m., so about 35 minutes. 9 p.m. BST we're on at the moment. Uh, what are some of your favourite non-creative simulation games? That's a good question, Dan. Uh, I used to be a big fan of WoW. We played World of Warcraft a long time ago now, but I played that a lot. Um, I like uh, sort of uh, RPGs, but not like really heavy RPGs. I like things like Fallout and um, and then also you know, things like GTA and stuff. I kind of play to burn off a bit of steam, but I'm not really playing anything at the moment uh, other than the games that are on the channel. But um, yeah, looking forward to... Uh, uh, what's it called? No, can't remember. There's a, there's a, there's a non-creative game that looks pretty good that's coming out next year. Um uh, compared to the size of the entrance, the tent itself, which is very good, is way out of scale for a circus tent. Yes, it is, Chris, it is a small one, yeah, we, we know that. Um, I didn't want to build it too big because I want to put this on the workshop and I want people to be able to use it what they want. It's basically a, a fancy shop. The idea is that they would go inside to buy things circus-themed. It's not meant to be a, an actual usable circus tent. Um, uh, I believe two hours today, yeah, thanks, Andrew. Yeah, two hours is spot on. Um... Uh, are you going to put this in my park? No, I'm not. No, this is just for the workshop. I can hear music coming out of my printer. I think the paper is jamming again. Oh, Dylan, you need to warn me. Um, Got to run Johnty fan uh, Family Emergency. Mr. Malova, thank you so much. I hope everything's okay, pal. Um, still think you look 25. Cheers, Kevin. You can come again, you can, pal. Um, uh, I could never sit through an RPG. Yeah, Witcher 3 is great, but it's just it's so heavy. There's just so much going on. Um... 
the form of Banished series. I don't think so. I played it a little and it was I, I couldn't get on with it. It was too too difficult. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you, Andrew. Yes, Red Dead Redemption 2. Cannot wait for that. Loved Red Dead um, Revolver and Redemption. Um, somebody in my time zone. It's noon here. Um, are you still planning to do a circus interior or has that changed now? Probably not. I think it, the problem is the reason we went against doing an interior is because it, it looks awful inside because of how we've had to use the shapes. Actually, it doesn't look as bad as I remember it. It's got quite a nifty pattern. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, no, because we've got... Oh, that was it. We got this crossover piece where they mix and it was just... Yeah, a little funky, unfortunately. So maybe not. I think this is... We'll stay this as an exterior for now. Um... Haiku, your mom has a child in timeouts. Oh, thanks, Andrew. Uh, play Sims 4? Uh, no, I don't. I'm, I, I think I'm probably going to jump on Sims 5 if that becomes a thing, but I kind of missed the boat with Sims 4. Um, it was amazing to be mentioned. <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, looks awesome. Keep up the great work. Any creative verse vid suit? I just haven't had time to get into crazy verse for a while. Um, I hopefully... Maybe, yeah, hopefully in the future we will. I know there's been a big update today with the with the um, blueprints. Uh, yeah, hopefully we we'll get back in there soon. Um, play an older game, Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. That was the Old Republic was an MMO. I played that a little while. That was pretty good. Um, trippy interior. Yeah, it's funky, isn't it? Let's have another. I want to have another look. Woo! Yeah, it's just like things hanging down, and yeah, look those. It's just yeah. Unfortunately, it's really tough to get an interior looking good if you spent a lot of time sort of tweaking the outside unfortunately so yeah i hope that makes sense to you okay so detailing because i mean that's that's kind of it really you know uh, the detail basically we wanted to like chuck some stuff down around it so what have we got that would work well for a circus i want i kind of want to do a bit of a backstage so i kind of want to have some sort of stuff sort of stacked up here so i'm thinking this rope would work pretty well um uh, West, uh, what are those boxes called that are in the Western theme? Obviously, they would uh, turn caps lock off. Uh, generic Duke box statue. Oh, wow, look at that. Um, that's the future. Oh, yeah. What hood box time circuits? Uh, yeah, I don't know what they're called. I'm going to have to search for them. Uh, scenery theme, Western. Get rid of box. Uh, Geek is into, I watched Doctor Who. I don't, not for a long time. I watched um, Matt, um, David Tennant. I like David Tennant. I haven't watched it really since then. Couldn't really get into Matt Smith. We'll probably give the new girl a go, though. She looks cool. Juggling Jester, yep, yeah, awesome. Uh, where is Oreo? Uh, he's downstairs, unfortunately. We're having some uh, slight issues with him at the moment. He's been a bit naughty, so he's uh, he's tucked away safely until he uh, until he gets a bit better, which we assume will be once the baby comes along. Um, sorry. I'd probably get the new girl. She looks great, the new woman. I, I've not seen her on anything myself, but I'm sure she's, uh, she looks great. Um, okay. What are these? Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. That could kind of, no, not really. It's not very, Chris, it's not very circus easy. That one is, though. We could put that one... Oh, we could put... Yeah, we could put this one with a juggler in it. That would be good. I kind of want stuff to break up the solidness of these colours. So I'm thinking, like, you know, this kind of thing with them um, would work quite nicely. Uh, a little eye. Just going to drag it down a little. There we go. Um... Can you build a coaster-themed... A circus-themed coaster that runs through it uh, no, sorry, Stampy. It's just it's too small. Uh, this is this is uh, uh, this the whole live streams. They're all about building a little thing that will just go poop and can go on the workshop and can, and I want to see what you guys do with it. I'd love to see some people put these into parks and you know decorate around it and stuff. That would be awesome. Um, okay, so this is this is pretty neat. This thing I like it. So we're gonna do this. Um, I I I just ate some pancakes and they were very nice and it has nothing to do with Planet Coaster. That's Great. Um, yeah, I want a bit more. Backstage is easy because you can just kind of like do, you know, have stuff hanging around. Like that. Um, where's that? There's a, there, that one. Sack, sack Barrow, is that called? Oh, okay, cool. I'll have one of you lean it up. 
Okay. Um, no, I want pancakes. Yeah, I want pancakes as well. Really bad. Ugh, thanks. I need to do some lighting on here as well. So come on, what have we got? What scenery have we got that we can use as... Um, as circus stuff. I mean, there's that, but we're going to struggle to put anything on that. Kind of looks good there, though. Uh... Steam is wrong. I want one of you on top of this. So it looks used. Oh, I've just thought of something that we could have. Um oh look at the look at the uh, X on that. Awesome. I've just thought this this straw is a thing, isn't it? We could have some straw. Is it hay or straw? What's it called? Hay, no. Straw. Yeah. Oh, maybe not the big one. Maybe a few little ones. Maybe even a straw cart. No, it doesn't look quite look right. Um, yeah, I want some straw because there would be um, animals and stuff. You know, usually the floor in circuses is often straw, isn't it? Like, you know, hay and stuff. Because, uh, like I said, I don't... First of all, I just want to say this. I do not condone the use of animals in circuses. Um, I'm just considering what, you know, traditionally they have, that's all. Um, I'm very glad that um, that we've put a stop to it in the UK. I think there's like one that still uses animals, and I, I, I hate the fact that it exists. Um, Hi, Godzilla of Hand Gaming. Welcome. Jake Paul got evicted. I don't know what that means. Can you put a front on the shop? Yes, yes, we will do that. Yeah. Uh, a few spotlights with the lights set to black. What does that do? Um, be right back. Don't do any drugs while I'm gone. Save stuff for me. You can have more, pal. Uh, use a billboard for a sign. Yeah. Use a scary as hell clown bathroom. Use scary as hell clown bathroom. Oh, yeah. The, um, the, the, yeah, it's gross, isn't it? Where is it? Uh, shops and facilities blueprints, isn't it? Where? Is, yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow. It's the, do you know what I think it is? It's the teeth. It's the teeth that make it horrific. Um, uh, is Planet Coaster just a newer rip-off of Roller Coaster Tycoon, or is it a very different game? Uh, no, it's a newer rip-off of Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's made by the people who made Roller Coaster Tycoon. Well, it's made by the people who made the expansion packs for Roller Coaster Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and the people who are made it... Uh, who made it? Jesus Christ. It's for the people who made it Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Um... Uh, make, nothing but it makes them look off. Oh, okay. Um, hey there. Um, it's made by, yeah, it's made by a lot of them, and they left. It's basically, what it is, is that, that Atari um, got the rights to Roller Coaster Tycoon. They didn't really want to spend the money that Frontier were asking for a fourth one, I believe. And um, so they, they made Roller Coaster Tycoon World uh, that's absolutely horrific. And um, the Frontier, the developers of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, came and basically made this, which is, let's be honest, Roller Coaster Tycoon 4. Um, you know, but with uh, but with without the name, obviously, because they can't uh, they can't do it. I, where are these from? These are fantastic. Look at this. Have I downloaded this? No, this came with it. Wow, these are all. These must be new. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Love it. Can't wait to get into Fairy Tale properly. Oh, there's loads. These are, I don't remember these being in the game at all. Awesome. Not to look at them too much now, though. Um, that made it my day. <laughs> Thanks. You got rum in that Coke? No, Stokies. I'm on a strict no alcohol thing at the minute in case I get the phone call to go and get to the hospital. I can't, uh, I can't be drinking. I haven't touched a drop in months. Um, crazy. John, what's your favourite pizza type? Uh, pe either, either, depends on what I'm in, pepperoni or farmhouse. Um, and if you don't know, it, farmhouse is ham and mushroom. Shut up, Andrew. Um, did you finish the pirate area yet? No, we need to go back. I'm just going to get fireworks done in the fairy tale area, and then we're going to go back and finish the pirate area. Oh, look. Oh, this is exactly what I want my fairy tale area to look like. I'm not going to use these, but this is, yeah, really similar to the style I want. Let's put an animatronic in. 
Um, it's got to be that juggling jester. He's like, he just fits perfect, doesn't he? Where is he? He walks back and forth. He's no good. He's a bit big. Jester juggling. Yeah. I'm going to put you up here. Because we kind of want it to be usable. You know, the animatronics, they're, they're, they're normally hidden uh, behind a wall. Um, so happy you don't say pineapple. Pine anyone who puts pineapple on a pizza, leave the stream. You are an abomination. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I don't get the whole fruit and um, fruit and meat, I, just in general, I can't do. Or fruit and savory, like duck and plum and uh, or anything like that. I, yeah, I really, really struggle. Um, or like pork and apple. Oh, wow, look at those if you've got two of them down. That's not freaky as hell. Is it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, shipwreck bounty is cool. I like that. So this is what it's come to. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Um, right, what else? Is there any other animatronics that will work? I don't really think there is, is there? Tell you what. Who was that? Oh, is that the horse um, thingy? I've had an idea. I know this isn't... Oh, you're not connected. That's annoying. What's... Had I come out of that building? Yeah, it's okay. You're all on one. Uh, I've an idea. I'm going to move you. Um, this is a little random, but I think it could be neat. Okay, so bear with me here. I'm fighting the corner of gammon and pineapple. No, sorry. Gammon and fried egg, but I will not accept gammon and pineapple. The wife, um, two people leave as well. <laughs> I'm hoping that's just people coming and going. I hope they haven't actually left because I said leave. <laughs> um yeah, gammon and... No, the wife loves gammon and pineapple, but no. Gammon and egg is fine. Not pineapple. You weirdos! What is wrong with you people? Um, I want a nice bit of wood. There's another one you can say on board. Um, that's too neat. This could work. No. Uh, oh yeah, that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. Yeah, perfect. Um, you should make a modern part of the park. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the modern theme in the game, to be honest. But um, yeah, the, the, I mean it's nice, but it's I, I just no, I don't think it looks very theme parky. Uh, could build an automated fortune teller booth on the other side. Oh, that's a good idea. God, that'd be pretty tough though. Oh, I like the idea. Yeah, like a Zoltar. Ooh, that probably deserves its own blueprint, to be honest. I'm going to make something a little random, but I think it kind of works with the with the theme of circus and fantasy a little, because it is a little bit, a little bit fantasy, isn't it? This. Oh, I love how that horse neighs. Um, venison poached pear. Oh, no, I just, I mean, it, it sounds fancy and all, but um, I just, I just can't do meat and fruit. I know it's really weird, but I just can't do it. I'm trying to think of anything. Like, I mean, like duck and plum, I can just about stand, but no. Like I had a, I had a burrito for lunch today. Um, and it was, uh, it, it, I had pulled pork, and I didn't realise until after I bit into it, the pulled pork was cooked with oranges. No. No. Um. Do, 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 do. Team normal pizza. Did Oreo just meow? No, there's no way you'd have heard him. It must have been me meowing. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
What was the correct way of saying GIF? Uh, hey, Jonty, what is the correct way of saying GIF and why is it GIF? Okay, so, um, okay, so I say GIF because it's always been GIF. The guy who came out and said GIF is the guy, well, the guy, he was the guy who came up with it. But as far as I'm concerned, g the G in it stands for g graphics. So it's, you know, that, that's how I kind of get it. But, you know, if he says it's GIF, he, he can do it. He likes Carney, he came up with the idea. But I, you ain't changing my mind, I'm saying GIF. Uh, GIF is also easier for more cultures to say. People struggle with the word um, GIF. In the UK, there's a there's a there's a cleaning brand that used to be called GIF, uh, GIF Lemon. It was like a you could I think they were different companies, but they sold lemon juice, but also cleaning products. They might be in the same company. I don't know. Um, but when they sort of went a bit bigger and so it's sort of like taking on Europe and stuff, they changed the name to CIF, C I F, because um, a lot of uh, sort of southern European countries struggled with the with the j sound. They, they were pronouncing it as a g like a gif, you know, like Juan. Um, so personally, I said gif because more people in the world can say gif. Right, orange pulled pork sounds good though. No, it wasn't good. Um, uh, Chelsea Aaron, when you said fancy, it sounded American. Or I would normally say fancy. Can I talk in an American accent? No, not really. I'm not very good. Um, the stereo is awesome. Horses in my left ear. Now there's a quote, Stokies. Stokies uh, has a horse in his left ear. Whatever floats your boat, kiddo. Um, okay, let's let's just try that straw again. I, I'm hoping and praying that they have textured the bottom of this straw. Oh, they have. Oh, it's good as well. Oh, it's, it's not quite. It was. Oh, it's not quite as flat as I was hoping. Um, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, you have to do a bit of painting with this, folks. Okay. A little bit of painted if you if you use this. Okay. The cleaning product got in trouble because of the lemon. That's why they changed the name to Sif. Oh, well, well I'm talking bollocks then. <laughs> Sorry, everything I've just said is not true. I they did an advert that was all about them changing the name to Sif because they struggled in Europe. Maybe that was just like a cover up, I guess. Um, yeah, never mind. Ignore, ignore everything I've just said. Um, this is going to be annoying. This is going to clip through, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's... Let's get it so that it won't quite clip through much. Yeah, there we go. Because that'll be behind the wall that we put on there. If we put a wall on there, which we should, shouldn't we, really? Um, let's move you this way. Oops. Don't really want you clipping through because even though it's temporary, I just think it's you want to be nice. Uh, do you know uh, how you pronounce the G sound really Dutch? The G sound, the ch, that roll in the things. Uh, hi, John. Love you, Planet Cozy Videos. City Skylines are my favorite series. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Entrance to each, di well, each dimension in time. What are you on about, Jordan? Uh, did I miss the first bit? A medieval part of the part. Yeah, well, the the, the 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 bit behind the castle is going to be kind of fantasy medieval, so you know, it kind of kind of fits, you know. Yeah, I'll fix that afterwards. Okay, you need a water trough chaps and chapesses how can we do a water trough and we can just build one out of wood um i don't think there's anything in the game that will work maybe that one no no you're a bit too that's a really nice piece though um, i was watching um oh who did it uh, who does buffalo who does buffalo valley is that commando santa he had a really nice little chat about these pieces they're very cool oh and oh my god if you're not watching it already uh, flux trances series on planet coaster oh my god that is amazing he used these really well to make coffee tables with did them like this look um he's like a like a like a, a modernish coffee table so we did that push them together how good is that for a bench a table or something oh so good it's just well, it's watching people play Planet Coaster. Anyone ask if they want to, like people want to? Oh, look, there's a piece that basically does does what we what we've built there. <laughs> Never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, anyone ask me like, oh, how could how'd you get better at Planet Coaster? How'd you get better? Just like watch other people. It's fantastic. What is the average length of my streams? About six inches. 
Um, how are you feeling about Stardew Valley? Uh, it's not. Uh, I'm it's not great. I won't lie. I'm not. I don't think I'm quite feeling it. Um, I'm going to maybe give it another episode or two. Um, without saying awful, it isn't particularly getting the views. So yeah, I, yeah, it's not. I don't know. It's just there's a little bit too much non-creative stuff. Um, um, thought there was one in the game. Maybe I'm mistaken. What a water trough. Oh, yeah, there's that one. Oh, that's not quite what I mean, though. That's really not. That's a gorgeous piece. That's one of my favorite pieces in the game. That. Uh, oh, there's this big old one here. Yeah, that's not what I was thinking either. But that. Oh, I've just had another idea. A guy on a diving board. That's circusy, isn't it? I'm just trying to think of things, you know, things to sort of break it up a little now. But I don't want to do too much because I want it sort of very placeable. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to make one out of wood. That's okay, though. There is nothing in there that... Plank. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, there we go. Um, well, right into that one. Andrew, what have you found here? Let's have a look. Jif uh, becomes Sif um, in Univita Spring Clean. Uh, next month, British consumers with the blah, 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 blah. however, is not awarded law. SIF is an old product, GIF repackaged and renamed, latest sent by GIF's owners to create a global super brand in most of the 80s markets where the product is sold known as SIF. Excuse me. Um, where it's called GIF. Says, yeah, they changed it to... Yeah, I thought I thought I was right. Um, hi, Deadpool. Uh, welcome. Love the movie, mate. Looking forward to number two. Um, I like that you don't keep on with the game if you're not feeling it. Follow your heart. Yeah, I just I wish I felt it because I love it. It's a, you know it's a great little game and it should be right up my street. I just I'm not, it's just not doing well for me unfortunately. And like if it was like even if it was getting views, I still don't think I'd be playing it because um, oh that's no, that's rubbish, isn't it? That's not true. But I just yeah, I just not really um, not really feeling it unfortunately. Um. I, look, I haven't seen anyone ask what we're actually building here, by the way, but I'm kind of going with it. Um, yeah, it's me, the guy. Yeah, I thought he was, buddy. Yeah, I know I know. in the movie he mentions Planet Coaster a lot, so I totally get why you're here. Wait, uh, oh, where, oh, oh, were they? Then I must have heard a rumor. Apologies. Oh, it's okay, Lewis. Don't worry about it. If I was only joking, um, it's all good. We're chatting, and that's what's important. We're creating a conversation, um, and that's really, let's be honest, all that matters. Boom! Look at that. I couldn't have measured that better. It's a bit annoying, it doesn't quite fit. Uh, let's pull you in just a little. Okay, uh, what are you building? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, Oliver, uh, shout out, please. Ah! There you go, there's a shout out. Um, Right, I don't. I want to kind of fill it with water. We can't really do that. We could put like bubbly water in it, but I've got a feeling they might be too big. Let's have a look. Scenery, special effects, water. Yeah, everything's going to be huge, isn't it? Is that the one that's crazy big? Yeah, look at the state of those. Um, oh. So I put a bit of water in there. Sleeping drop pen, correct. Stokey is got it in one. We're creating a sleeping drop pen. Don't know why. Just they're cute. We haven't used them really yet. Uh, so they're going to be waterless. They're going to have to be waterless. But the idea is that maybe they like you know some some old school 
circuses that actually had animals they would they would maybe chuck a couple of the little animals outside um, you know oh no you're already right that's good I like how you leaned up a little leaned up is that a word I made up I just made up a word um, yeah these things are so adorable I mean it's just they're random as hell like I don't really get what they are um, but they're so adorable look at that sleeping drats how cute um, fountain strip uh, hold on maybe use blue art pieces I think that's probably the only thing I can think of doing yeah use that tub of water um, a sitting pirate on a plank by the way why did you use green pineapples in the other video um what what green pineapples you've lost me there buddy sorry i've absolutely calm just racking my brains as to what to think uh, art pieces yeah i guess they're a bit shiny aren't they um let's try i don't know why i keep going to scenery for art pieces also they might be too big Oh, they snore. I can hear them snoring. Uh, right, watercolour, please. Not as in painting. I mean, as in um, somebody who understands why I'm asking. Can you grab me a nice hex code for water? Um, Blaz? Yeah, that, I think that'll do, actually. Yeah, that'll look pretty good. Um, there we go. Uh, they're drats, duh. Dragon rat. Okay, I'll go with that, drat. Um, when I clicked this, I thought it was going to be bad, but it's not. Well, it, it, can I please put that on a t-shirt? <laughs> That's going to be the quote on the website. When I clicked this, I thought it was going to be bad, but it's not. Good. Uh, right, let's do a little bit of foliage. Like, and this isn't meant to be like a permanent thing, but I just like for some reason I feel like creosote bushes would be a big part of this. You know, just like uh, the like maybe not there, but yeah, like here, just a little bit growing up. You know, drats coming in and et all the things off it. I don't know. Uh, not you, but like yeah, like down here. This screams creosote bush to me kind of look like like this this circus has been here a little old while you know uh, okay all right i feel like we're getting somewhere I, I don't really want to do too much around here i want it to have a relatively tight floor footprint you know um thank you musician water hex code uh, copy that and we'll try peter's as well we'll see um Icing pieces. Oh, what, down here, icing pieces? Oh, that looks perfect. Yeah. Um, and we'll try We'll try you as well, uh, Peter. I called you Paul then, didn't I? Um, and we'll see which one we like the best out of those two. Um, again, it's good. A little light, I think. I think we'll... I think we'll uh, I think that one's a little bit more believable. Um, everybody gets the first person treatment at the end of the video it was created in. Um, can you ride all the rides? Yeah. Um, they, they don't, actually, because, well, some aren't, aren't finished, actually, because the, the log plume still hasn't had a ride. But, yeah, we, we'll probably do, a like, an overview when we're done, yeah. Uh. Right, five minutes. What are we going to do for the last five minutes? I kind of want to see... This whole thing in the sun a little better, because I knew he wasn't part of the building. I knew it. Uh, Chief Beef. Oh, it's because of the shop. <laughs> I knew you weren't part of the building, you little git. There we go. I, I don't know if you saw me checking before. I was messing around with him, and I was like, something's wrong here. Okay, everything else is fine. I want to put you there. I want to see what you look like in the sun. So we can actually get, get a good look at um, these drats. Yeah, see what? I mean, really, terrain-wise, 
Um, you know, bit of bit of the old, uh, bit of the old sandy, sandy sand here. You know, um, maybe even a, no, maybe a bit of leaf under the hay. Some maybe some de actually dead grass might. Yeah, that looks loads better actually. A bit of dead grass there, and probably like around here. But like obviously this this won't carry over into the workshop. So you're gonna have to do this yourself. It's good for the it's good for the thumbnail, isn't it? Um, okay, so we uh, have to start working on this lighting and cover the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on it. No, we're not doing a clown's hot tub. SCG Ario is not. I was gonna say no more. Then that sounds awful. He's not here today. He's, uh, he's downstairs because he's been a bit of a naughty cat at the moment. So we're having to keep him uh, under a watchful eye. Um, your trusted sidekick like Annoyington saves the day. <laughs> um, Mine looks a bit too light in game. Yeah, it, it, it's one of the things that you've got to kind of just try it. Um, planters, trees and bushes. Yeah, I think we need to do a little bit of foliage. Nothing major though, because you know it wouldn't be set up where there's foliage going on, is would it? But we do need to do something about this. So I think we're not going to use a wall piece. We're going to use, because we're going to use um, scenery pieces. Where are we? Art pieces. Oops. Yeah, like this sort of size. Wait, wait, there we go. And we're going to come up here. Like that. I think this is. Oh, it's going to be tough, this, isn't it? Some dead grass where the nails are put in the ground would be a nice detail. Yeah, I think. I meant, I meant to even the flat rides. Yeah, we can ride the flat rides. Why not? Um, yeah, this is going to be tricky because we have to kind of do that. And then, like this, that's probably the best piece to use, I guess. Oh, yeah. I got really excited then. <laughs> um, are you in the building? What, your building? Oh, we're not in the building. Thank you. I know what you meant now. <laughs> Um, no, we're not in the building, but it's okay. We can fix it. Thanks. Well spotted. Uh, right. You need to be... We'll start with yellow again, I guess. Uh, F4. Oops. What the hell did I do then? I was obviously not selecting the colour. F4, D4, 1, 5. Okay, there we go. And then we'll loop you over. Whoa. Do you know what? With these drats around, this has become a very noisy, uh, noisy area. Very quickly. All right, good. Um, hello from France, Mister Geekism. I really like your videos on Planet Coaster and City Skylines. Keep going uh, like that. Thumbs up. Thank you, Extra Gaming. Welcome. Got there in the end <laughs> uh, with the spelling of going. Um, there is a plastic shop front. Yeah, but we want to do. We want to keep the the strips going, which we probably couldn't do with the shop front. Um, would love it if you could tell me what you think of my custom action figures. They're on my Twitter. Oh, Mick. Um, yeah, let me just copy it so I've got you for later. I will have a look, pal. Um, there we go. Um, Kel Bell, uh, love the channel. Thank you so much. Thanks very much for the donation. It's very generous of you. Um, French iPad correction, yeah. I haven't been uh, following the circus build, but is it all done with plastic pieces and whatnot? Yes, Connor, for the most part. Uh, the actual structure itself is art shapes, bar the uh, the tops here are small tents, and then obviously the rest of the detailing is uh, is what it is. Um, John T, do you know Hensford? I live there. Wow, Stampy, I was um, I'm from Hensford originally. I uh, yeah, that's, that's 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 where I grew up. Uh, I was gonna say I was born in Hensford. I wasn't. I was born in Stafford Hospital. But yeah, I'm 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 Hensford born and bred, pal. Uh, yeah, small world, eh? 
Let's just knock you back a little. There we go. We're going to struggle to do much more with this, I think. So we're kind of have to gonna go plonk. Put you down and we'll change it to red, which is E for oof, oof. There we go. Okay. Uh, dang, that stupid T-Rex gave me so Yeah, sorry, it's a bit loud, isn't it? <laughs> um, can you have your video wife in a video or stream? No, she has absolutely no interest uh, in being part of this. That's not fair. That's not a nice thing to say. Um, she loves it, and she's very proud of me and everything with it all, but she, she's not really... Um, uh, she's not a gamer or anything like that. She's an incredibly uh, um, sensible young woman who doesn't bother herself with things like video games. Uh, that's a lie. She plays the odd one, but yeah, she's not. Um, yeah, it's not. Uh, not really part of the, her headspace, so to speak. Move this forward. That's enough to do that. There we go. You probably need to do the same. There we go. Uh, right, that's probably what we'll do there. Um, I mean, we could maybe shrink the blue down and put a little line of blue. Again, maybe off camera, or maybe, you know, maybe start the next episode with just a little finish off of this place, you know. Oops. I don't think I'm quite right there. Where the hell are these pieces there? They are. Jesus. They're, 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 X rotation on this is so strange sometimes. You there? Good. And that's good. And then knock this one there. Oh no. Oh, hold on. What have I done here? You, you. Need to go back ever so slightly. Uh, go there. That'll do. Cool. Um, it's a small world after all, isn't it? Just. Uh, now that song is stuck in my head forever. Fantastic. Um, I don't think Mrs. Sparrow would want that. No, she wouldn't. Uh, oddly enough, I just got it out of my head. <laughs> Thanks very much for putting it back in there. It's a world of... Da, 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 world of da, da. I don't really know it, but something like that, isn't it? Right, there we go. I think we're going to have to probably leave it there. Um, oh, I've just thought balloons. We have balloons there, don't we? They would probably work. Scenery? Well, we, uh, we need more flags and balloons and all sorts. Yeah, like these. <gasps> they could work maybe going up there. Um... Let's put the three major colours that we've been using in. Is that the blue? No. Uh, blue. One, eight, three. C, six, D. Uh, that's the blue, that's the red. And uh, the yellow is F, four, D, four, one, five. There we go. Um, we already started in this court, mate. We're on the way. Um, uh, when are you going back to work on your park, Jordan? That's uh, that's the regular episodes. We we do that. So this is um, this is uh, these these live streams are just going to be random bits like this, and then um, then we'll do the other stuffs. We have to do this all in one go. I really want to do. I really I love these, and this gives me a great reason to use them. In fact, we'll probably use these a couple of places over this build, I think. Because these are neat. Um, ooh, Z, Z's a little off there. Oh no, it's me doing it wrong, that's why. Drag you right around. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Whose idea was this to build this under here? Um, I think you're near enough spot on. Oh no, you're crossing yourself over. Oh, you don't quite line up. That's a little annoying. I wonder if... Instead, we have to do that with you. Looks like we do, yes. Okay, so let's... No. Yes, there. Okay, and maybe even swap the colours around a little, but we'll go with it for now. There. 
Okay, and then we can copy you to there. And yeah, it looks like we need to switch the colors around. Okay, well, that's neat. We can do that probably. But maybe at another time because it's nine o'clock and I need to cap this off into some sort of finish. So let's, uh, wait, let's drag you around there. Oh, yeah, that looks neat. Oh, that's cool. Like that a lot. And that's not the sort of piece that's going to be very useful in many other places, to be honest. So uh, we'll stick you there, and then we'll probably work on some signage and neaten up the last few areas as well. There we go. Cool. Uh, right. Uh, let's just uh, check, finish with, uh, with chat. Um, uh, great singing. No, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to talk uh, because of my region. That's cool. Um, might be a bit far away from England. Well, we can give it a go. Um, or wherever I live. Yeah, I do live in England. Um, do I watch Steven Universe? No. Uh, maybe the colours on the balloons could be slightly lighter. Yeah, they are. They come out a little darker, don't they? So yeah, we can tweak that. I think. Uh, I like the workers most of the time, anyway. Nice arch geekism, John Toe. Okay. Any final pun? Right. Okay. So we're we're, chat, we're we're closing up the chat. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like I say, we've got work to do. It looks like we've hardly done anything this episode. It literally looks like we've put down about five or six pieces. But we did all this. Um, you know, that took time. I'll probably finish that hot camera. Next episode, we'll probably come and just have one more little go in here. Just sort of finishing it up. But we're getting somewhere, really getting somewhere. And it's going to create a nice little useful shot that people can drop into their parks. Over there. I'd love to see people use this. It'd be wicked. Um, so there we go. Uh, there we go. That last segment isn't even. Nah, it probably isn't. Nah, what are you going to do? Let it bother you all week until we fix it next Tuesday. Um um thanks nice work on tent go by if you want to see some park attack content oh cool pause games i'll check it out um uh, we need to create a petition to get johnson to watch su let's see thank you so much for watching folks um it is over i'm sorry chase yeah we stream from seven till nine we're actually 10 minutes over and we have 20 minutes in the discord chat if you want to come and have a chat in discord link is in the description stokies it doesn't need a hot tub thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it give us a like they carry over so you can add those on thank you so much for all the donations welcome to all the new subscribers and uh, and i'll see you live next tuesday but um for the rest of the week i'll uh, i'll see you in videos make sure you're commenting uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you later I don't know how to stop YouTube. There it is. Ba ba da ba ba. Bye.